Thursday Follies. Taylor Swift is comparing herself to a first lady. Protest songs go haywire, and Hollywood cannot get enough of reboots. Joining us now with all of the details is the only guy who can get them to us, Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor. Raymond, you Thank have you. noticed a disturbing new style of protest songs emerging across the country. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I have indeed, Tammy. You know, protest songs go back centuries, and they usually are catchy ditties with a political edge. Think if I had a hammer or blowing in the wind. But some examples from this week show that the genre is clearly in big trouble. For instance, in Tucson, Arizona, a pair of ladies, now known as the Singing Sanctuary Sisters, stood up at a local hearing and they urged that their town become a sanctuary city and they made their plea in a song of their own composition. We all know that right thing means no more deportations based on broken taillights. It means safety for all. It means a due process is a part of our charter. Protected from partisan and political nitwits all over this day. Tammy, I think we need to send them a metronome and a rhyming dictionary. This is, this is the most tortured protest song I think I've ever heard. Scary. You know, I, if I had talent, I'd write a song. And if you like my talent, you could sing with me. I mean, they, it's like they labor to not rhyme. It, fr it frightens me that that may in fact be the result of the feminist movement. And, <laughs> and I'm, I'm very disturbed. And I love, I, I'm honored to be able to guest host here and to see you. But I don't know if I'll ever think of you in the same way, Raymond. Uh, well, um, uh, I think I can top it. So hold, stay right, right there because not only amateurs, Tammy, but even professional legendary singers just can't seem to get the protest song right. Barbara Streisand, she recorded a whole album this year to protest President Trump. And at her concert at Madison Square Garden last weekend, she turned her Send in the Clowns into a protest song retitled, Who is this Clown? You can guess who that was about. Is this his art of the deal or some awful joke? You've got to admit this fraudulent twit <laughs> is so full of <laughs> Oh, Tammy. This is painful. I, ca I can't shame. even listen to it. It's so bad. But it's you know, a shame. It is you know, a shame. She, she is, she's a great performer. She has a great voice. And she's ruining things, which I yeah. never thought I would ever say. Yeah, it's well, you know, it's divisive. It's divisive. Yes. People pay money, particularly to, to see somebody like Barbara Streisand. They want to relive the memories. They want to hear the music. That's they right. want to enjoy the memory of what was and what is. That's right. What she does by politicizing this, she taints the whole affair. And, and the sad part is, I remember we went to see her at the Verizon Center, took my wife. And my wife said, if she gets political, I'm going out to get a drink. My wife never left the bar, Tammy, oh, the whole no. two hours. I'm serious, never left the bar. So it, it really, it's sad. It's sad yeah. to watch this. But if you're going to do a protest song, be clever about it. This wasn't. Sure. Now, since we're speaking of retreads, Tammy, this week we also saw a series of reboots that is breathtaking, even by Hollywood standards. It's not just that they're out of ideas. It tells us something about where we are as a culture and as a people. There's yet another Adams Family movie coming. The 90210 reboot hit airwaves at Fox this week. And Disney just announced that it's relaunching Night at the Museum oh. and Home Alone. There's only one problem. Google relaunched Home Alone in an ad last year with the original cast. Too bad AC. Someone's in the front door. What do I owe you? Looks like you paid online. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> it, now, so. Raymond, Raymond, Macaulay Culkin actually has weighed in on the reboot announcement, didn't he? He did. I, he did. Yeah. Yeah, he posted this picture, tweeting, this is what an updated Home Alone would actually look like. That's Macaulay at 38 today. And he said, hey, Disney, call me. Well, I guess if the 90210 kids can spoof their best known roles, why not Kevin McAllister, you know? Yeah, look, do you also think, by the way, since we're talking about these reboots, which for me is like a lack of creativity. I agree. We're seeing so many. 
Um, what do they tell us, uh, though, about the culture in general? Yeah. Well, I think they tell us, first of all, there's a love of nostalgia. People want to go back because I think they're so traumatized by the present scene, by what they're seeing now. Good but point. the dangerous thing is by going back, that begins to define this era. And we, we you know, this has become the reboot, retread, rerun era. We, you know, we had the me era. This is the re era. And I'm worried about that. Yeah. I'm worried about the constant. Now, look, uh, the time flies when you're having fun. But before yeah. we run out of time, Raymond, yeah. I have to get your reaction to this new interview with Taylor Swift. She compared mm. herself to a first lady. Who was it? <laughs> Hillary Clinton. She said she couldn't endorse Hillary in the last campaign because, quote, the summer before that election, all people were saying was she's calculated. She's manipulative. She's not what she seems. She's a snake. She's a liar. These are the same exact insults people were hurling at Hillary. Would I be an endorsement or would I be a liability? Look, snakes of a feather flock together. Look at the two lying women, the two nasty women. Now, uh, uh, Tammy, it seems to me Swift's critics may have been right because she was callously calculating here how to keep her Hillary endorsement under wraps. And the last time she endorsed anybody, she kind of flamed out. Remember, she endorsed all those Democrats against Marsha Blackburn in Tennessee. Uh, Didn't turn out so well for her. You, you know, it really, it does come down to just stay out of the politics. Stay out of the politics. Raymond, thank you. I Great.